G'day everyone, welcome back to the Aaron Engineering Channel, my name's Aaron. So what I'm up to today and this weekend for this episode, <laughs> um, I've got some more cast uh, vintage engine parts that need to be milled and turned here in the lathe. So these ones here were quite simple to do when uh, this is the old one, this is like I said uh, 1905 roughly, so over 100 years old. So uh, these have been recast, so I had to machine up, machine off the knobs, make them flat, get them to the right thickness. Uh, there was two of these ones to be done, so I had to machine those as well. However, in the last operation, I had to hold them in the four-jaw chuck and uh, single-point uh, thread cut a, um, a BSPP thread. Now, I believe it's an inch thread. When I first looked at this, I think thought it was an inch and a quarter. However, uh, it measured that, but with BSPP thread, I looked in the book, it says then you've got to deduct a quarter of an inch, so God knows what they were thinking when they, they invented this thread. Anyway, so it's an inch BSPP, um, so I had to cut that thread for them as well. There was two of those to do, guys, so let's uh, get on into the action, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you at the end of the video. I'm on to the next set of parts here. Now this one differs from the previous one. Uh, this one has to be machined flat on both sides, drilled. And in the centre, uh, we need to drill and tap or cut that thread in the lathe. I believe that's a BSP parallel thread. 
So let's start prepping that. I've already done the underside of both parts, so I thought I'd just show you this bit here. drop in now with the probe and find these uh, the center of this part Now I can imagine some of you sitting back there going, why has this idiot got an end mill in a drill chuck? Now, I agree with you. If I ever saw one of my apprentices do this, or students, etc., I'd probably put my foot right up their ass crack. However, I'm not milling, I'm drilling. These end mills are what we call up mills because up cutter, because they pull the swarf out. So this thing will want to be pulled through and probably pull out of the drill chuck. Now I would never mill, do any sort of end milling in a drill chuck. I'm purely drilling, so it will be safe for this operation. But in saying that, I won't pull the quill lever down, I'll feed it by the hand wheel. So I'll lock my mechanism in here, and away we go. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't have a 9 16 of an inch drill bit. I do have one, I do have an end mill. So this plate's done and it's now ready to go into the lathe.
I've got the uh, threading bar in here now and I've still got the dial gauge attached. I've checked my Canwell book here and down the bottom we're looking at one inch. So that's where I got that drilling size from. So I went 30.5, they said 30.75 is preferred. So this is my basic depth of thread here. So 0.0582 of an inch. So I'll convert that over to metric and run off the dial gauge. We've always got to make sure we've checked it with our thread gauge. And I've, uh, with the boring bar out of the way, I've checked that. And we're definitely at 11 TPI. You can see that in there. So we're right to go. Well guys, it's uh, hot in here in the workshop and I've been going at it for a few hours now and uh, I've finished. So we've got here, the first part that I showed you was this one here. So this is obviously must be a water jacket blanking plug. I'm unsure, I haven't inspected the engine myself, but we've got one of those. So critical here was obviously that bolt uh, distance between the two bolts and uh, quite happy with that, I nailed that. This one here, guys, I had to make two of these and, of course, get them to the, the right size and cut two threads in them. So the threads came out, yeah, they look rather sexy, so I just hope they work. Um, what I've asked the, the, the customer to do, he's got some taps, so I might just uh, check that. I looked in the book and uh, did the thread depth to what it, was, what it actually said in the book and um, which was roughly in metric around uh, 1.445 or 1.47 millimetre is the thread depth, all right, from that. But it's always nice here. Uh, the customer, I think he said he's got a tap. So I'll just check it with the tap just to make sure I'm at to depth. If I'm not at depth, that tap would actually chase that thread and, and bring me to the right depth. Well, thanks again. Thanks for following on on another Friday uh, edition of my little home workshop. Uh, I try and stay about a week ahead in these videos. If you want to see um, a bit sooner what I'm up to, check out my Instagram page and, of course, my Facebook page. And just look for DCT Aaron Engineering with an underscore. Thanks, guys. See you next Friday at 3 p.m. Bye for now. Peace of P-I-S-S. Hello, you helping Pop? Okay. I've got a little help, but she's coming here when I'm halfway through this job. What have you got? You got Pop's chips? Are you eating Poppy's chips? Oh, well, better in your mouth than mine. <laughs>